They supply car alloys to BMW, cable wires for electricity pylons, and components for refrigerators. Many of these things you use every day could contain a tiny piece of Bahrain. A local company, Middal Cables, leads the way in producing aluminum goods. From humble beginnings, the company is now a global player. Founder and managing director Hamid Al Zayani took me on a tour of his factory. This shiny high grade cable may very well find its way to an electricity pylon near you. It's not produced in a giant export market like China with more than a billion people, but in tiny Bahrain, a market of less than a million. Without the benefit of giant oil reserves like neighboring Saudi Arabia, members of the merchant families of Bahrain, like Hamid Al Zayani, have turned to manufacturing. Some Gulf states there maybe don't need to be in manufacturing if they are very oil rich. But in Bahrain, we have learned how to sweat it off and to hard earn it. Two years ago, the company topped sales of a half billion dollars, and it's a world leader in power line cables. So this product eventually coming from Bahrain is going where? Well, it could be going to, we have a contract right now in Cairo. We have a contract in Australia and Saudi Arabia. So it could be going to any of these, you know. Medal Cable's roots go back more than 30 years with its original partner from Australia. But it was the opening up of the Alba factory, Aluminium Bahrain, just down the road, which prompted the creation of Medal. Now its high-grade utility cable goes to markets all around the globe. Medal receives its aluminium in liquid form from the Alba smelter, so melting down slabs is not required. This giant 12-ton pot tips right into the furnace and comes out ready for manufacturing. But the fact that you're in the shadow of the Alba factory makes a huge difference in terms of cost. Of course, that's, that's part of the uh, viability of the project. While Bahrain may not be rich in oil, the Gulf Island state has ample supplies of low-cost natural gas, which Al Zayani says makes up half the cost of production. Each one of these coils comes off the production line weighing about 3,000 tons. And although not a fine wine process, they do need to cure for about 15 days before they're exported. They're still warm to the touch. So this is how it comes out, you know? On a tour of his giant yard and factory, Al Zayani talks about his workforce of 800 people and explains how Medal has become a testing ground for the government's 2030 development strategy. The goal is to employ more locals in a process known as Bahrainization. Is of that total of 800, what percentage uh, right now are Bahrainis? 65 uh, percent. Uh, while the guideline of uh, industry is 35. To broaden its reach, Medal is branching out into all things aluminium. 20% of revenues come from alloy wheels, with BMW and Mercedes as clients. We've covered all the reputable car, the known car brand, uh, whether in Europe or North America. We started with wheel, and we are thinking of other components actually to manufacture for cars for the car industry. At the same time, the company is going into other markets to fend off trade barriers and intense competition. It recently finalized a joint venture in Abu Dhabi and wants a bigger presence in the US and Australia. I guess when you come from a small country, you have to feel big by having the world as your territory, as your market. Yeah. Says the man who took what was a tiny company with $1 million in revenues three decades ago, to a world leader in its niche today. And that's all for this edition of CNN Marketplace Middle East. I'm John Defteris. Thanks for watching. We, of course, will see you next week.